What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep Attacking and today I want to do a quick video on password generators. Specifically ones you can use from the command line. So guys, I've been trying to do a couple videos to, that will help you protect yourself online. Um, I started out with uh, the password manager uh, and now I want to get into a, a password generator or a couple of them that you can use from the command line. Basically there are three password generators I want to highlight and show you guys how to use them as well as the options that come with the actual commands. So let's get right into it. So the first, the first password generator I want to highlight is PWGN um, and of course that stands for password generator. Um, and this is one of the oldest password generator uh, programs that are out there for the command line. So I'm going to install it right fast so you guys can see. Uh, PWGen. And I already know it's there, so I'm going to just install it right fast. Pretty sure it's in the repository. It's a very small program. So let's clear this only takes a second to install um, now let's look at the help for uh, PWG so that's PWG uh, dash H and this will give you all the options and this one the reason I wanted to start with this one it has a whole lot of options uh, included with it um, and this is the actual usage of it so PWG the options which uh, dash a dash in and then the you can put in a password length and then the number of passwords you want it to generate so this is the length and this is the number of passwords that you want to generate and just to cover a few of the options dash c for capitalization include at least one capital uh, letter in the password you can do uh, no capitalization uh, numeral include at least one number of passwords Dash zero is no uh, numbers in the password. Um, dash Y includes uh, at least one special character. Um, and then remove characters from the set of characters to generate passwords. So if you want to remove a specific character or a list of characters that you don't want included in your passwords. Um, and then the S, which is what you want to use most of the time it generates completely random passwords now these are the ones that are kind of hard to you know crack or they make it you know more difficult to crack these passwords by using secure because it's completely random it has nothing to do with anything where someone can social engineer information from you and actually come up with a password you may or may not use Okay, so let's run the command. I'm not going to go through all the options. I just want to run it so you guys can get an idea of how to use it. So PWGN. And let's do secure because that's the way I've always used it. So dash S. And then let's say we want uh, 10 characters uh, for the amount of uh, characters in the passwords. And then let's, let's do 5 uh, passwords and press enter and there you go so that are those are five generated passwords uh, just from running that command and you can do this from the command line as as you see fit you know change it around if you need to you can go um, I want 15 character passwords and I want uh, two of them press enter and there you go okay so the next one I want to show you guys is actually included in most distributions uh, is PW make and this one doesn't have as many options as the last one that's why I wanted to do uh, PWGN first because you have to install it but PW make is already included uh, and you could just go through and and use this right on your distribution the only thing is it has one really specific option. So you do PW make and then what you want to use is the entropy bits to generate the password. So meaning like 128, uh, 256, 512. 
So that's what you want to use when you create it. So if you don't do, let's say 128, it'll create a password with 128 entropy bits. Uh, if you do 256, um, you know, as you can see, it creates a random password for you using the entropy bits. Okay, so the last password generator I want to show you guys is GPW. This one is not included in the Orch repository, uh, so I'm gonna have to pull it from the AUR, uh, but it's uh, sudo, and actually I'm, I don't have to use sudo because I'm running yay. So if you want it in Orch, if you have Orch distribution, then you can install it uh, using yay or whatever password helper you may use, but it's GPW. Now, the purpose of this one is to create passwords that you can pronounce and that'll make it uh, a little bit easier for you to uh, remember the passwords and I thought this was pretty cool so I just wanted to throw this one in there so you guys can uh, check it out uh, for yourself and this will help you remember some of your passwords like if you uh, use the password manager like I showed you you can Use this to generate a password that you can pronounce uh, so that will help you remember your master password for your password manager. Uh, just just a way to make it simpler for you to, uh, to actually remember it. Okay, so this password generator is simple. It, has, it only has two options. Uh, and the way you use it is basically GPW, the number of passwords you want to do. So let's go... Um, I'm just create two and then the length of the password. So at that point, let's say uh, I want to use 13 characters. So press enter and there you go. And as you can see, it's kind of weird the way they make the passwords. You know, it's, it's supposed to be to where you can pronounce them uh, as an English speaker. So, I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't uh, pronounce this one because it's got all those S's on there. I would tend to remember it by the amount of S's. And then you can keep going with these password generators. Say you find something that you like or that you want to uh, use, like this one. It's made for people that speak English. So if you use, if you speak primarily a different language, it might be a little difficult for you to actually pronounce some of this stuff. Or, I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm an English speaker, but <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to pronounce some of this stuff. But uh, it's not meant for you to easily pronounce it. It's meant for you to actually have somewhat of a secure password where you can somewhat pronounce the actual password so to help you with remembering it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel um, if you have any questions leave a comment down below and of course keep it techie